Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I do want to mention quickly, uh, you guys stay tuned for December giveaways. I'm going to be announcing how to participate in the next upcoming video, in, uh, spell video that goes up on my channel. So you guys stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys are interested, uh, we do every year on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, go and follow me at Pinky Pink Star Doll um, at Instagram. And what we do is, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we do one question free readings um, through live streaming. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. That's going to happen in December the 22nd, um, 2019 at 7 p.m. California time. Anyways. Enough about that. Let's get into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of December. Now, your first card in regards to your finances, you have the High Priestess. So the High Priestess could represent, um, it could represent, it's speaking to you directly about your spirituality. So for some of you guys, Taurus, especially, I want to say from now all the way to the waxing moon, um, you guys are going to be experiencing a lot of psychic awareness or psychic awakening. Um, listen to your intuition. Pay attention to that, especially those of you guys that have currently or have um, often found yourself very pulled or interested in the spiritual. Um, the high priestess does speak about the all-knowing, the understanding or the wanting to understand and to be able to see um, lifting the veil. So again, if this is connected to your finances, the high priestess is here to tell you to listen to your intuition. There's something that you're being pulled towards in regards to your life path or in regards to what you should be doing um, when it comes directly to your finances. So again, it could be that if you've been feeling like where you work or where you've been working currently, it's draining you. You don't feel like yourself anymore. It's very frustrating. It's time for you to start looking towards something else. Uh, it's almost like a calling. So most of you guys are going to be experiencing an awakening or a calling uh, that is very connected to your life path. So again, pay attention to that for the month of December. Now, in regards to communication, you have the emperor card here so the emperor card you may be dealing with an aries or uh you may be dealing with people that are very strong headed or strong minded for the month of december uh for some of you guys you may be dealing with an uh like i said an aries uh man or female it doesn't have to be a male it is a general reading but this speaks directly to having structure um so with the High Priestess here and the Emperor card, for some of you guys, you're going to be experiencing um, having the need to find some type of structure in your life. Whether you've been experiencing like the past couple of months, um, that you're living day to day, uh, just trying to survive, it's almost like there's going to be this innate feeling, like there's a higher purpose or a higher calling for you. And with the Emperor card, it's time to take action. It's time to pay attention to that and go on this pursuit, this pursuit that is pulling towards you again, almost like a very intuitive pathway or a very intuitive pull towards something that perhaps for some of you guys, you've never even understood or you never even dabbed into. So it could be um, changing careers. It could be looking towards... Um, uh, making money on the side for some of you guys it could even do like uh, it could have to do with like consultations doing readings for people uh that type of um it's almost like a it's not what society would consider a profession it's something outside of that that is very connected to your calling or your purpose um the emperor card also with communication very quick communication and dealing with or being surrounded by people that are that of higher positions, people that are going to open doors for you, people that are even going to guide you that you can learn from. So pay attention to that for the month of December. 
Now, in regards to your challenge, you have the Empress card here. So the Empress card, there's not really much of a challenge other than um, other than what, what they're saying is as a challenge, the Empress card could represent. Okay, so I'm getting different messages. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, you guys are currently trying to work out a relationship or trying to make it progress. There's a lot of inconsist inconsistency or instability that you may have experienced or that you're currently experiencing. But you do have the Emperor card next to the Empress card. So this is a soul connection. For some of you guys, this could represent um, uh, not karmic, but a soul connection. A person that you're dealing with that could be very connected to your soul's purpose. Therefore, it's not going to come very easy. For some of you guys, it could be that you are currently in a relationship and that's an obstacle in itself because you are, you know, with the high priestess, it's a lot of mystery, a lot of things kept hidden or perhaps that you're not putting out to the open. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're married and dealing with someone else, a third party. For others, it could be that your partner is currently dealing with a third party. Um, but with the high priestess, everything, everything, no matter how hidden you think you have it, in the end, it will come out to the open. So if you are connected to this message directly that has to do with the third party situation, be mindful and be careful, especially if you do have family, uh, if you have children, children are involved, um, because there could be uh, a situation that comes about for the month of December where it can be challenging because it's almost like having to choose between your desire and your responsibilities. Now, finally, when it comes to relationships and emotions, the element of water, you have the two of wands. So the two of wands does speak about expansion, but it also speaks about two and twos are duality. So again, for some of you guys, you may be experiencing living like a clandestine type of lifestyle where you're married and there is structure but at the same time, you're doing other things here on the side or the partner could be doing things on the side and not knowing how to balance that or not knowing what to choose. If that is what your current situation is, then I would highly encourage you um, to think about this. If you are in a relationship and you're still dealing with someone else, a third party, then obviously the feelings that you have towards the person that you're currently with or have been for a very long time, they're not, those feelings are not strong enough. Therefore, you're not in love with that person. Sometimes in life we have to make decisions, perhaps decisions we don't want to make. But if that person is no longer making you happy, you need to be honest with yourself and you need to as well as not just being honest with yourself, but you also need to do good by you. And being in a, in a situation or in a relationship that is no longer fulfilling, not only is that going to become an issue, but it also uh, could represent having to make a choice. Um, so again, my, my advice to you guys is if you are currently dealing with this type of scenario or this type of situation, my advice is obviously you're not happy or fulfilled in the current relationship that you're in. And if that's the case, it's time for you to walk away uh, before things start to progress with the other person and it gets messy. Now I'm going to be pulling out a card from the Moonology uh, Oracle cards, and this is going to be your spirit's advice to you. See, this is <laughs> this is crazy. This is exactly what we're talking about. So you have the waning moon. What do you need to release? So based on Based on your cards, Taurus, I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, there's going to be opportunity to salvage something. But for those of you guys that are in a relationship out of necessity, out of responsibility, or out of because you've been with that person for so many years, but if you feel the need or you're being inclined to step out of the relationship, then you're doing yourself a disservice. And the reason why you're doing a disservice to yourself is because you're not living in your own truth. So it's time for you to release that. Now, for those of you guys that are currently dealing with a partner that perhaps 
you continuously keep allowing them to step out of the relationship or keep things in the hidden, a person that genuinely cares for you and loves you is not going to have you standing there wondering what the, what you mean to them. And if that's the case as well, then it's time for you to walk away and purge yourself from that to be able to experience um, new opportunities with the coming new moon. Okay? So again, keep that in mind. A spirit is telling you what is it that you need to release at this point in time in your life. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings and we'll see each other soon. Bye.